and my friend and I are going to be giving bad descriptions no! to describe different Pokemon. <laughs> and then the other person gets to pick one Pokemon based off the description the other person gives. But what Alec doesn't know is I'll have the X-Ray mod, which means I'll see every single Pokemon that he's describing. And then I can pick the best one every single time. The video ends if he finds out. All right, Alec, behind me, I have three unique Pokemon. I'm going to be oh describing boy. them, and you have to guess which one is the best. Okay, I think I can do this. All right, Pokemon number one is the green Pokemon. This Pokemon is orange like your hair. It's pretty big, it's powerful, and it can fly. Oh, wait, that, I feel like it's a pretty good description, bro. I think that that could be a Charizard. I don't know. Okay, okay, what's the next one? Next up is um a rat that has lightning abilities. Okay, that, I mean, it's Pikachu. It's gotta be Pikachu. It has to be. What else could that be? And uh, the last one is, I'm just gonna describe it as you. Okay. Is that an Embor? Did you, is, is that an Embor, bro? No way you just did that to me. I can't tell you. But those are your three Ooh. descriptions, and you now have to pick green, blue, or red. Okay. I think that the left door, the green door, is probably a Charizard, and uh, that is what I'm gonna lock in. All right, let's so, lower the walls in three, two, one. Come on. Oh, you got yes. it right, dude. Let's go. How'd you know? Oh, my gosh. That was actually a pretty good description, Jack. I appreciate that. I am going to be much more harsh on your descriptions. And I got Pikachu right, too. And Trubbish? <laughs> How am I Trubbish? You're a trash can. You're a literal That's trash. That's messed up, bro. That's messed up. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm muted right now. Alec is setting up the next round. And let's just see. <laughs> He's doing licky thong nose pass. And I think he did another trubbish. And he has no idea that I can see everything that he's doing. He's going to be so mad when he finds out. All right, Jack, it is now my turn to describe these Pokemon to you. And let me say, you got some fun ones. You got some real fun ones. Okay, I'm ready. All right, for your first Pokemon in the green section, I think that if it were to talk, it would talk like this. Oh, oh, I got it. Easy, licky thong. Oh, wow. That's, hmm. That's a very good guess, Jack. Wow. Okay. Uh, the blue door, the one in the middle. The best way I can describe this Pokemon is it looks exactly like Adam. Oh, I was going to do that one. I thought of that earlier. Oh, I know exactly who it is. Okay. 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 I'm too good. And on the right side, you got yourself a bicycle. Uh, a what? It's a, it's a very speedy bicycle. You're saying bicycle? A bicycle. Yes. Like the thing that has two wheels and you pedal it and it goes forward. Okay. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna roll the dice on this one because I think green is licky licky itty spitty licky. And I think the middle one is um nose pass. I think that's what his name is. The one with the massive nose. And then right. on the right, I literally <laughs> have no idea. And I'm gonna pick it. I'm gonna go with red. Okay. All right, red it is. Let's see what you got in three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> what is it's a It's a Cyclazar. It's a brand new generation died Pokemon. It's wow. really good, dude. <laughs> you, you made a good choice. Its chin is a bicycle. Wheel. Yes, dude, it's so cool. <laughs> They're running out Andy, of ideas. you got the other two Pokemon correct, bro. I can't believe that. That's actually insane. I mean, the middle one, that was here as day. <laughs> yeah, that one was pretty easy. Let's get a side-by-side -side comparison of Nosepass and my brother Adam. Wow, that's so accurate. It looks just like him. Clearly. Alec behind me, I have three more amazing contestants for who could be joining the Siren Stinky team of Pokemon. Let's go. I already got a Charizard, bro, so I'm feeling good. Okay, these ones, uh, we're going to take it up a notch, okay? We're starting out okay. with the right side, uh, red color. All I have to say for this one is origami. Um, what is that? That's paper? It's the art of paper folding. Oh. <laughs> that one paper folding, okay? That's gotta be Cartana. Okay, next up, we have a freaky ice cream cone. I mean, there's only one ice cream cone. In the, it's gotta be the, the ice cream cone Pokemon. Vanil Vanilux. Vanilux. And then for the last one, I'm just, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say pee-pee. <laughs> Pee-pee? Yeah, pee-pee. All right. Is it like Orthworm? Is it Silicobra? Maybe maybe it's the name. Maybe it's Picky Peck? I honestly think the red door could be Cartana. That's what makes most sense to me. But at the same time, I'm way too curious to know what is behind the pee-pee door. And for that reason, that is what I'm going to select. <laughs> Show me what the pee-pee Pokemon is in three, <laughs> two, one. It's pee, -pee. Oh, it is Orthworm. No way. I called that. I'm actually crazy. That's kind of the weird. first thing. How'd you know? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> me and Orthworm, like, we go way back. We go Two way, Two pee-pees in a pod. All right.
right, Mr. Jackie. Your three Pokemon are ready. All right, let me let me just get my brain set. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, behind the green door, you have the... I'll describe it as the Guys, Pokemon I'm with muted. humps. <laughs> yes, it is no a very idea. humpy Pokemon. Um, okay, humps. Maybe Mr. Humps Mime. Humps. Maybe Mr. Mime. Could be him. Could be uh, one of the camel-type Pokemon. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. In the middle, you have Frosted Flakes. You have the Frosted Flake Pokemon. Okay, it's gotta be an mm. ice type. And then on the right side, you have the Krabby Patty formula. Oh! Pokemon. Oh, 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 I got it. I got it. Krabby Patties are made out of fish, so it has to be a fish. So we probably right. have, on the left side, we probably have, um, Camel. Ca camel Rup on the left yes, side. Well, I'm not gonna oh, say yes, yes, no, yes, yes, no, no, yes, that's his name. Go. That's okay. his name. Right. It's Camel Rup is the name. Okay, alright, so we've secured at least one. In the middle, Frosted Flakes. I'm thinking Suicune. When I, when I see Suicune, I'm thinking Frosted Flakes. Guys, I'm muted right now. I can't give it away that I'm cheating. And then on the right side, Krabby Patty. It has to be some sort of fish. So probably like a Carvana or something. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick mine and I'm gonna pick Frosted Flakes because it's gotta be Suicune. Okay, okay. Uh, you know what? I'll admit that's a pretty good pick, but let's see what you got in three, two, one. Oh, let's go. Wait, do I still get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you get it. <laughs> Let's go. My hint was because Tony the Tiger, Frosted Flakes. Oh, oh I should have said they're great. That should have been my description. Oh, but that's what I was yeah, going for. That actually makes sense. Okay, this one, I'm going to give you a little bit of a riddle. If you know Pokemon, you'll know exactly who this is. Oh, it should be easy. Ash's mom's Pokemon. Mr. Mime. How is that a riddle? That is not a riddle. That's close that enough to a riddle. That's just Mr. Mime. <laughs> that's, not, yeah, that's a quiz. How'd you know that? that? Okay, all right, fine. Next up, <laughs> let's see. Um, how would I describe this? Ash's mom's Pokemon. Good riddle. Good riddle. <laughs> Rainbow Pancake or Lisser. Wow, that one's tough. Okay, I don't know that one. <laughs> Next up, uh, Party in the Back, Ooh, Stupid in the Front. Whatever's in the front must be a lot because it's probably a really dumb Pokemon. I'm gonna select the Green Door! <gasps> This one was party in the back, uh, stupid in the front. Guys, I'm muted again. <laughs> Look at the Pokemon. Alec, Alec, Alec. I am prepared for anything. I have your three Pokemon in front of me, and they look so dumb, all three of them. Can I take a look Heck at them? Yeah. Just like a, um, a quick peek. Let me think about it. No! Oh, okay. All right. Fine. Whatever. Fine. Your first Pokemon I will describe as Steve Irwin. Irwin? Oh, oh, Crikey. He says Crikey a lot. Crikey. Okay. Shrimp on the Crikey. Crikey. Okay, I got it. What did he die to? A, a Stingray? So maybe it's it's the Manta Ray Pokemon? Mmm, totally could be. In the middle, we have the king of the bros. bros. Guys, I'm muted again. It's bros. so funny listening to oh, Alec describe these, bros. and I'm looking right at them. Mmm. I don't oh. like that one. I don't like that all one right, at all. all right, Definitely all right, not fine. picking that's, that. You have Bongo Man. Okay, Donkey Kong. I'm taking Donkey Kong, so it's gotta be a monkey. I think I want a big, juicy monkey on my team. So you're locking in the Bongo Man? Bongo Man it is. In three, two, one. Show me the monkey. Oh! Let's go. I love this guy. It's a Rillaboom. Rillaboom. Contestant number green is going to be described as long and poopalicious. <laughs> long and poopalicious? Podsire, maybe? I, I don't know. I don't know. Moving along, the only way to describe the blue Pokemon is Tree Stooges. Oh, that's got... Wait, Tree Stooges? I mean, there's three Stooges, which to me, it must be Dugtrio or Magneton or Hydreigon, but Tree, I, I don't know what the tree is supposed to mean. Tree Stooges, Tree. And the last one, the red Pokemon. I'm gonna have to say barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken. A little barbacoa barbecue chicken. I'm most confident with the red door. I feel like it's got the most potential. And so we're gonna lock in the red section. Show me what barbecue chicken is in three, two, one. Oh, and ball. Good pick, good pick. Okay, I'm not sure. I mean, I guess the barbecue, I'm not sure what, how is it chicken? There's no chicken. You never said the description had to be good. That is a good point. They actually are supposed to be bad descriptions. See? I follow the rules. Behind the green door, you have a Pokemon that I would describe as three peas in a pod. Okay, three peas in a pod. Interesting. I have a few guesses, but I don't want to tell you. Your middle Pokemon, I would describe as nightmare, 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 Ooh, nightmare, nightmare, Gengar, nightmare, nightmare, Haunter. Nightmare. Um, that's all I got. That's all I can say. 
Okay. That is all I'm uh, legally allowed to say. Interesting. Okay. You're right, Pokemon. I will describe as unbelievably attractive. Incredibly attractive. Probably the most attractive Pokemon in the entire game, objectively speaking, of course. Snorlax? <laughs> uh, I cannot say. Okay. 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 I mean, you said enough. Trust me, Alec. You said enough. Okay. Um, Based off your descriptions, three peas and a poop. I, I really don't think that I want peas and poop, honestly. Um, Are you sure? It's, it's really good, dude. It's nightmare, really, nightmare, really good. nightmare. Sounds pretty impressive, honestly. I think I could use that on my team. And okay. uh, Snorlax, as much as I do want to have myself a Snorlax on my squad, I think I got to lock in Nightmare. Okay, so he locks in the blue section. Let's see what it is. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? One. Haunter. Oh, <laughs> What? You gotta be kidding what? me, bro. I'm you flipped. literally gotta be kidding nah, me. Nah, bro. You, bro. Bro, Darkrai? Are you kidding me? <laughs> You're so lucky you didn't even think about Darkrai. I had no idea it was Darkrai. Alec, Alec, Alec. I gotta tell you, this round could make or could break you. Okay, I like the sound of that. All right, Alec. We're gonna start out on the red side. And all I gotta say about this, dude, is this looks like Bird Jesus. Bird Jesus? Okay. Pidgeot. It's gotta be Pidgeot. It has to be. There's no other option. Let's see. How would I describe the blue Pokemon. I'm gonna have to go with, um, fish sticks. Your descriptions are most certainly getting more and more challenging, I must say. But the thing is, I feel like if it's a Kyogre, you would describe it as something silly to make me not want to pick it. And I feel like it could be, it could be, it could be a Kyogre, and you're just describing it as fish sticks. Very well could be. I mean, you're gonna have to figure that out for yourself. And the last one, I'm just gonna say legendary. There's no way that it's actually a legendary behind the green door. You have to be trolling. That it has to be a troll. Legendary? Bird Jesus, I'm gonna be honest, that sounds pretty cool. I want Bird Jesus on my team. The problem is, I already have two flying Pokemon. I have a Charizard and a Dragonite, so I don't know if I want another bird. Um, But I could use a water type Pokemon, which most fish is are, and so I'd imagine that the Pokemon Fish Sticks is a water type. I did say and sticks. I, yes, and I, I don't believe you either about the legendary Pokemon. There's no way it's actually legendary, so for those reasons, I'm gonna lock in the blue section. Show me Fish Sticks in three, two, one! <laughs> <sighs> Let's go. You pass up an eternities. There's no way you actually did that. You knew, dude. You knew that if you described it as legendary that I wouldn't believe you. I had to do what I had to do, Alec. I made I you look stupid outplayed. and I'm so sorry. Well, your first Pokemon I will describe as Ho. Ho. Oh, oh. Ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. ho. Not ho, ho, oh, ho. Oh. No. Ho, ho, ho. But ho, ho, ho. What? What's the ho, ho, ho doing in the North Hole? That is something you will have to figure out on your own. Maybe something I'll have to Obama snow. Wow, that would be that would be something. Did your I, next Pokemon. I got it. I know. I know. By the way, you <laughs> the said that. I got it. The blue door. The blue door. I will describe as Will Smith. You got Will Smith in the middle. You're gonna have to think. Use your brain, Jack. As a Pokemon? Yes, it makes a lot of sense if you connect the dots. But right, your last Pokemon, you have Ronald McDonald. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Okay, we, we, we can't duplicate, right? So it can't be Mr. Mime? Correct. No, it's it. No, this is a Ronald McDonald Pokemon. Way more Ronald mcdonald -y than Mr. Mime ever will be. All right, well, I'm, I'm definitely not going with Obama Snow. So green can just go and be on its own. Not doing that. So it's between blue and red. <sighs> Those two pick the very best one, and I pick Will Smith, baby. Will Smith, the blue door. Let's see what you got in three, two, one. Yes, dude. It was the genie. It was the genie. <laughs> Woo! How? How did you get that? I thought for sure when I said that, you were just going to be like, what the heck? That makes no sense. And then you nailed it. Wow. I honestly didn't know it was going to be the genie reference. I thought maybe it was going to be like a cool rock type, like uh, Reggie Rock or something. But I will take mm. this. This is sick. Alec, this is your final round. We have the best Pokemon in one of these slots. Ooh, okay, I like the sound of that. Okay, all right, we're gonna start out on the right side first. Okay. This Pokemon is very, very powerful. It's very, very big. It's super strong. And the only way I can consider describing it is, um, fairy deer. Fairy deer. Yeah, like a fairy Xerneas. rainbow deer thing. Xerneas. It's a fairy rainbow deer, very powerful. If that is a Xerneas, 
Thank you, Jack. Thank you. You literally just described it so good. Okay, next Pokemon. Okay. In the Pokedex, it is described oh. as the Pokemon of time and space. Okay, so wait, time and space. So it's it must be Palkia or Dialga, but it must be time and space. I thought one is time and the other one's space. And the last Pokemon, the green Pokemon. The only thing that I could think of that comes to mind is Titan TV Man. Titan TV Man from Skibbity Toilet. And that's all you're getting. Okay, I really want to pick this Skibbity Toilet one because I love Skibbity Toilet. We all know this, but I can't do it. I have to lock in, but I believe it's going to be either a Xerneas, maybe even a Zacius, which is a fusion Pokemon. So I'm going to lock in the red section, but I'm very curious what the green section is. And I think that the blue is Dialga. But let's see what we got in three, two, one. Boom. Wait, how is Rattata time and space? It's not just what? any Rattata. That is a legendary time and space Rattata. He kind of looks like you, bro. Have you, have you ever gotten that before? Sometimes if I put my teeth like this. Here we go, Jack. The final round. Can't oh, wait. Pokemon. I really Let's hope you gave me you some got. good stuff, okay? Ooh. Okay, so on the left, in the green section, you have your mom. Your mom made it in the final round, bro. That's actually impressive that she made it this far. What is it? Is it like the new fish from Gen 9? Giant catfish whale? No. <laughs> is it whale lord? <laughs> is it snorlight? <laughs> okay, it's, it's whale lord. It's definitely <laughs> whale lord. You fool. No. You fool. It's your mom. You gave it's it away. You mom. gave too she much is... of a good description, even though it's a complete opposite of what she looks like. She's the tiniest woman to ever exist. Okay. In the middle, you have Optimus. Prime. I mean, if you're being honest, that sounds sick. Optimus Prime is the best Transformer, so you clearly put, like, some really awesome legendary Pokemon. Um, no. It's not even that cool. It's like, it, it's, maybe think about it this way, it can transform. Genesec. I like Genesec. Yeah, it's Genesec. Uh-huh. Interesting. Okay, and your last Pokemon, I will describe as the Stealth Bomber. Um, Shadow Sneak is the only stealthy move that I know of, <laughs> okay. so it could yeah. be Giratina or a Giratina Fuse. Fusion, maybe. Dragon Ninja. Could be Dragon Ninja. Now that I'm thinking of it, that actually sounds pretty good. So we got a Whale Lord, a Dragon Ninja, and an Optimus Prime. Right. Three very interesting decisions, Jack, but what will it be? This is a tough one. I think I'm gonna have to go with the black green Pokemon in the middle. Wait, Can we what? lower the walls? Wait, what? Lower the walls. I picked blue. Yeah! Woo! Let's go! What is this guy even called? Uh, Zygarde Complete Form? Whoa! How did you know that it was black and green? Because it was in the blue slot, bro. The walls were lowered. How do you get the, uh, the cool version? Because I'm just seeing Zygarde. You did not, you did not, you did not cheat. You did not use X-Ray. Tell me you're not X-Ray right now, Jack. Tell me I'm you're not, not X-Ray right, right, right now. Tell me you're not X-Ray. Put it on Mama. I'm not doing it right now, no. What, do you, what do you mean, bro? No! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I've been x-raying the whole time! <laughs> <laughs> Suck on that siren, yeah! When you started spank, saying, oh, spank, oh, it could spank, be a ninja, spank, oh, it could spank, be dragon pole, spank. I was like, how does he know? There's no <laughs> way he knows that much. I can't wait to see your stupid face. Oh, that's too good. Jack, that was not cool. That was not cool at all. That you was have not cool no at all. idea. <laughs> the only idea that I do know is that I, you're gonna get wrecked. You're gonna get owned. You're gonna get pwned. You're gonna get destroyed. Hey, we'll see about that. Stay this is not the best. Oh, oh, swords dances. Leftovers! <laughs> Once a cheater, always a cheater. Bro, how do you leftovers <laughs> on two? <laughs> that did like nothing. <laughs> yes! This is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. And I was wondering how you knew, like, the Will Smith genie, like, instantly. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm a genius. What can I say? We will not lose to a cheater. Cheaters always win. Cheaters always win. Oh, gosh, she's got a Xerneas. I forgot. I was I really hoping you would pick Rattata there. Well, you described Xerneas to me beautifully, so I actually really appreciate that. Uh oh, boys. Oh, no. you did an extreme speed. You did an extreme speed. I didn't think it was going to kill. Oh. That's fine. We tank okay. these. We tank these. Oh, I don't know if you tank these. I literally don't know if you tank them. I tank these! Mood Blast! <laughs> Dang it, dude. <laughs> you know what they say about cheaters. They are big fat losers. Yes. No. Oh, my. It's over. It, it, wow. How did you take that? No. Yeah. Let's go. Guys, if you learned anything, cheaters ever win. But it's also very fun. If you enjoyed, smash like and click right here to see more.